everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well today. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Asla Jade. I post videos over here at least three times a week and I do have a vlogging channel too. So today I'm actually really excited for this video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out Goo Goo Hair Extensions for the first time. Giving an honest review, a full tryout, just seeing how it all works, doing a full unboxing. So I hope you'll enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a lovely little comment in that comment section down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this and let's get started with today's video So as I said, I have never tried Google hair extensions before and I've been so excited to try them. I have followed them on Instagram for the longest time now and I was so excited when they reached out to me a couple of weeks ago asking if I wanted to try the hair extensions. So this is what this video is going to be. I'm going to do a full unboxing, we're going to try them out, I'm going to give an honest review and I'm just so excited. I've had extensions before but those were a little bit shorter. I think they were 18 inch or 16 inch. These I think I've gone for 22 inch. So these are going to be long they're going to give volume i'm hoping they're going to be a match for my hair so i just want to get started with it to get started this is what the box looks like it is so pretty i love the way that they've presented this so this is what it looks like when it arrives in post it says goo goo hair extensions it's got a lovely kind of like blossom effect on the front and then once we open this up it's got the full kit inside so it says changeable life at your fingertips which i love I went for clipping ones just because personally I prefer clipping hair extensions rather than not being able to go like swimming with them, things like that because I go swimming a few times a week. So clipping ones personally works better for me, but everyone has their own preferences. So once I opened it up, I got this little white bag which does say Goo Goo Hair Extensions on it. It's a really silky bag. Everything in here just feels such good quality. And then you've got your instruction leaflet. I actually said this in my Alvion review lately, that so many brands just aren't bothering with like instruction leaflets or like proper package or anything like that anymore. They're literally just sticking the product in a box and just shipping it out to people. These just feel so much more professional. It has a full instruction booklet. It also has a little guarantee on there. So if you've got problems with it, so if your clips are broken, fish wire problems or your hair tape stops working things like that you've got a little guarantee in there got this clip which actually looks so fancy i'm gonna have to work out how to use this you get a decent sized scrunchie which i will definitely be using and then you also got a pair of eyelashes which i did not expect to get eyelashes in this as well and they look pretty decent so we're gonna have to try these out one day but we've got a pair of eyelashes too so you get so many things in this box I'm just so excited. So I'm going to show you this inside the bag. That's what the bag looks like. Like I said, really good quality. And then inside here, we've got the hair. So this is what it looks like. It looks quite a good shape for my hair. You also get some spare clips, which with the last extensions that I actually bought, you didn't get any spare clips with them. And within, I think, like a month of me using these extensions every single day, one of the clips had already started to peel off and another one was on its way and I didn't have any spares so I can't even use those two pieces of hair extension anymore. So it's nice that they actually come with spare ones and if you get problems with them, you can contact them. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a hairnet, which I think is such a good idea. But you can keep your hair all together and it's a better way of storing it. But this is just a bit of an up close of the actual hair itself. I am actually obsessed. Like it is so long but it feels absolutely incredible quality. Like I haven't tried this on yet, it could look absolutely terrible, it could look amazing. But so far, as a first impressions, it looks like a good shade for my hair, looks like it's gonna blend well, and it just feels such good quality. It's come all packaged up, so it looks really, really professional, but what I wanna do now is I wanna look a little bit deeper into the brand, talk about the brand a little bit, and then I wanna try these on. So Goo Goo Hair, I've been around for a while now. Like I said, I followed them on Instagram for what feels like the longest time. They have incredible quality hair, which is all 100% human Remy hair, which is so good, and it looks healthier than my hair actually does. They provide worldwide shipping, and at the moment on their website, you can actually get free worldwide shipping and 30-day returns if you're not happy with the product. They also have 
have their own expert colour matching system so they help you actually find what colour is right for you as well as that. They do provide free samples of colours so you can actually match that to your hair to make sure that you're actually getting the right colour hair for you. They're supposed to be easy to apply and they're supposed to blend naturally into your natural hair which is supposed to be good, that's what we want. You can get tapings, you can get clippings, they have such a big variety, they have different colours, different lengths, different styles, they literally have everything that you could want. And they also give you a manual on how to look after your hair, how to apply it properly and just how to take care of it so that your hair lasts even longer. So I'm really excited to try this on, I just want to give it a go, I just want to get started because I am so excited. So as I said before, this is what the hair looks like, I'm going to start to unpackage it, I haven't actually unpackaged this yet, I was waiting just for this video because I want to try it out all on camera, it's really well packaged. So you've got these two bits of string around them, got one piece there and I'm just going to take the other one off here. So now we've unpackaged it, this is what it looks like. We have, should we count them? Let's have a look. Oh, that's a really big one. Oh, I like that. Okay, these actually feel such good quality. So that is one big one. And we've got another, is that a bigger one? Oh, that's like a three clip. So that's a little bit smaller, but still a decent size. Then we've got another three clip there. So that's quite a good one. I really like the three clip ones. Like a good four clip is a decent size, but the three clips are really convenient. So you've got a little two clip there. You've got another two clip there and then you've got two one clip. So you've got like a decent variation in the wefts that you actually get with this. So in total you get seven pieces of hair which I think is really good and I think it'll be quite good for my hair. I thought that would definitely be enough. Although if you've got thicker hair or you need more or you want longer, shorter, things like that, you can just customise it for yourself. That's one thing I love about the website. So I'm just going to have a quick look at one piece just to see what it looks like against my hair before we start applying this. The clips feel really strong, which I really like. Okay. Just if I put it in there, what does a colour look like? Oh my god, that colour is actually looking quite good in my natural hair. Okay. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to get some clips because all this needs tying back and holding away and then we're actually going to apply it. So I've just grabbed a few thin bobbles and I've got some of these clips. I actually really like these. I think I got these ones from Primark. They're just so good to use. They're really, really gentle on your hair. They don't like pull at all. And they just slide straight in. I literally am obsessed with these. I use them all the time. I think they're only like a pound as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to separate my hair. So I'm going to probably segment this into three sections. So I'm just taking the bottom layer away from the rest. So I'm going to put one piece in right at the bottom. Look at how short my hair is feeling. I got it cut about a few weeks ago now and it still feels really short. That's the problem with my hair is I feel like to get it to grow longer you've got to cut it. But then cutting it is making it shorter and it's just a vicious cycle. Like my hair gets to a certain length and then just does not want to grow it anymore. So I've got that in a bubble and then I'm just going to grab that clip and just slide that clip in so that it's holding my hair in place. Okay, this is the piece that we're going to go in with first. This is just a three clip weft and it looks really, really good quality. They all look really nice. So, I'm going to set this piece off. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see this a little bit better. So, I'm just pulling all of my hair to the back and then bringing this piece around. So, now I'm just going to feel for where my hair, just a little bit before my hair actually begins at my roots. And then you can hear the clip snap into place. There. These ones actually feel quite secure. Usually I like to back comb my hair a little bit towards my roots to make them like kind of stay in a bit better because otherwise the clips can start to fall out. But this one actually feels quite secure so I actually really like that. I don't think we're going to need to do any back combing. This is how it's looking and it's actually blending into my natural hair already. I really like this. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull that all to the back and then we're going to start to take the next section down. I can be quite messy with this so I like to put that section we've just done in a bubble just so we can keep that separate to the rest of my hair. And then I start to take this down. Oh, I forgot where to clip in there. So I took this bit down here. And then we want a layer of hair, but we don't want it to be too thick because we want to make sure we can 
insert all of these extensions. So I dropped the rest of my hair down now. I'm going to take a big section back up to the top just so I've got a nice thin section to work with again. Sometimes I do like to use a brush, like a pointy end of a brush to help like segment my hair. But today it's not doing too bad so I'll just keep it on my fingers for now. So to know that I've definitely got the right section, I like to have a feel around my hair, make sure I've got a nice straight line going across. And then I like to make sure that you cannot feel any of the clips from the previous pieces. So I know that I've definitely got it high enough. So there's a big enough piece of hair between the two. So then we're going to clip this back up like we did before. So now we've got a couple of pieces at either side and I think I'm gonna use Maybe the four piece for this one, because I feel like we're doing like a big chunk of hair. Yeah, so we're going to go with the four piece now. And we're just going to take this bobble out now, because we don't need that in anymore. Now we've segmented my hair. So this is what it's looking like. This is the four piece. I'm just going to open all these clips up. I can't get over how good quality these clips feel. They feel really good. Okay. And then I'm going to start to feel... Start about there. Just trying to make sure I get it equal all the way around. Because I don't want it to be too close to my face, but then I want to make sure that the hair is equal, that it looks as natural as possible. Okay. That should be quite good for that section there. I'm then going to bring a little bit more hair down and do the exact same thing again. So I've got a three piece here, which we're going to do. I'm going to start that around there. There we go. And that's another three piece in. And then I'm gonna do a two piece at this side. So this is a little update of how my hair is looking. We're not quite there yet, but I am actually obsessed. Like it is blending in to my natural hair so well and it's making it look so long and so pretty. So now we're gonna go in next with the final pieces. So I've got two two pieces and a one. So I'm gonna be applying a two piece here, a two piece here, and then a one right at the back. So I've got a two piece right here. That can just go there so it blends quite well with this bit, I think. And then it can twist around to the back there. When it gets towards the end, I like to put like the center of my hair, like the very tops of my hair, in a little ponytail because I feel like it keeps it out of the way and then we know we've still got a layer that can cover any clips and extensions and things like that. But I actually really like this. Like the hair feels so soft. I can tell the difference in my hair and the extensions just from touching it because I can feel how soft the extensions are compared to my hair. And then the same at this side. I love how blonde this is as well. It makes me feel a lot more blonde. I am forever dyeing my hair, trying to get it a little bit blonder each time. And these are just a beautiful colour. So there we go. I want to make sure I'm getting them quite high towards my root, but not too high. That they'll end up being really, really short because of that. I'm literally so obsessed. I didn't know if this colour would be okay for me, but I actually really like it. So now we're going to take this piece of hair there. I'm literally just gonna clip it out of the way so we're not having to worry about that. And then I'm just gonna grab this piece here and clip it in right at the back. Right at the top as well to make sure I've got that color. Okay, and now this is gonna be the final reveal. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna be bringing this hair down, which is literally just a thin layer of my hair, just at the very top. Oh, I forgot I put a clip in there too. I'm literally forever putting clips on my hair thinking, oh, that'll help it out. That'll make it stay a little bit better. Forgetting about it and then be like, why can't I get my hair out? And it's because I've already like, clipped it in. Okay. I'm just going to start to separate that out where it should be. I can see this is my natural hair length there compared to the extensions being like all the way down there. But I don't think you can really tell if I'm honest. I'm just gonna brush that through on my fingers a little bit. This is how it's looking. I genuinely don't think you'd be able to tell these are extensions. I really like them. I think that's a perfect shade to blend in with my natural hair color. I am completely obsessed. Like I have so much hair. I love them so, so much. So this is now how it's looking. I'll do a little bit of a stand up so you can see. But these are so pretty. Obviously, my fringe bit here is shorter, but that's shorter than the rest of my hair anyway. So this is what it looks like when I've got my natural hair anyway, because my fringe is shorter. 
but oh my god i'm genuinely obsessed like i think it's brightened my hair up so much like it's made my hair look so much brighter really like this i'm so glad i have this color because when i was using my color it was between two different ones this one and one a little bit darker and i wasn't sure which would be a better match but oh, i'm so glad i went for this one so nice i would like to leave all the information in the description box for you guys which ones i got the color length obviously their clippings all those kind of things i'll include all those in the description box and i also have a 10 percent off code if you guys want to use that so make sure you guys do check that out because that can actually save you some money for these i actually think they were really really easy to put in as well some hair extensions are harder to put in and they don't blend as well with your natural hair these however i think are beautiful i really really like them and the clips are a lot slimmer in these compared to other ones the clips can be a bit chunkier which makes them stick out more in your hair like this is giving me a little bit more volume which is good but you can't see the chunkiness of the clip sticking out which i think is really really good as well one thing i'm really looking forward to now though is curling them like i'm so excited to see what this looks like curled with my other extensions when i had them curled and curled my hair i was genuinely obsessed like i loved them so now with these, like with them being even longer, it's going to take a while to curl, but I'm really excited to try it. I think it's going to look so, so pretty. But I hope you've all enjoyed this. As I said, the link and their social media and all the product information will all be down below if you guys want to check that out. I really appreciate you guys watching this. I really enjoyed this. Let me know down below what you guys think of these, if you think they look natural, if you think they blend well, your opinion on them. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me and leave me a lovely little comment in that comment section down below, as well as subscribing to my channel because it helps us out so, so much. And I will hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye.